so so uh, we uh, so now okay so last time we check the model check the model when a do was the dependent variable dependent variable okay. but now but now but now we, we shall check the model when gdp is the dependent variable meaning that meaning that this variable where gdp is the dependent variable right so so i i, I make it select i copy the model i copy this model our second model then i go to quick estimate uh, model estimate model then i paste it right so this is our model and here the gdp is the dependent variable so th uh, so this one is our second model so i press okay and this is the this is the model uh, outcome right model outcome where gdp is the dependent variable okay so you can see gdp and here are two uh, two variables are here one is uh, ed edu and inv okay so the f so, so 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 first we talk about edu whether the edu has a effect on gdp or not right that means whether uh, edu sorry whether 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 edu can cause gdp or not right so here so so what should be our null hypothesis the null should be c8 and c9 right so whether c8 or c9 jointly zero or not whether c8 and c9 jointly zero or not and we take the wall test to check it wall test right wall test i go to view right go to view then coefficient this one and then i choose the wall test wall test then i put the our null hypothesis c8 equal to c9 equal to 0 right so that is our null hypothesis whether c8 and c9 jointly zero or not i press okay this is the wall test it is the null hypothesis right so it is the chi square and the p value so so the so the how much is the p value p is 3.21 percent meaning that less than five percent meaning that we can reject the null hypothesis meaning that c8 and c9 are not jointly zero so c8 c9 are not jointly zero meaning that they are not zero meaning that meaning that our meaning that there is a oh sorry meaning that meaning that there is a short run causality running from a do 
from edu to gdp so meaning that there is a short run causality running from edu to gdp okay then uh, our second variable is what inv what is inv investment right investment that is our second variable okay and here is what is happening here c12 and c13 these are the two variables so what what is our null hypothesis c12 and c13 so so they are jointly zero or not so that is our null hypothesis c12 and c13 are zero or not so i check i go to view as before coefficient diagnostic then i ch i choose the wall test right then i set my hypothesis c12 c13 right so that is my null null that is my null c12 c13 so i press okay wall test chi square it is the null hypothesis c12 c13 zero and and the value is 3.21 percent meaning that less than five percent meaning that we can reject the null hypothesis meaning that c12 and c13 is not zero meaning that there is a short run causality running from inv to gdp right okay now how is the model how is the whole model from the statistical point of view So actually, uh, so actually, the this is our model, right? This is our model, and where GDP is the dependent variable. Okay, here for this model, R square is low. Its value is around 52.73 percent. So we are not happy about it because it is uh, it is quite low, 52.73 percent. Uh, sorry the r square not p r square so it is quite low but what about the f statistics f statistics is not but it is significant f statistics is significant so we are happy about it because the probability value is less than 5% so we are happy about it f statistics is significant then what about the residual so i check the serial correlation i check it first serial correlations okay it is the serial correlation observed r square p value p value is 12.60 meaning that 12.60% p value so the p value is 12.60% uh, meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that there is no serial correlation in the model meaning that there is no serial correlation in the model so we are happy about this model then finally i check the the residual the residual then test of hetero right i check this one so i choose okay okay so it, it is the test then observed r square the p value is how much 62.61 percent right the p value is becoming is 62.16 percent meaning that more than five percent meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that there is no heteroscedasticity problem in this model meaning that there is no heteroscedasticity problem in this model 
So we are happy about the model. Then finally, we check the we check the the this one test of test of this one, right? We check this one. Click one, okay. And here is the Jarkabera statistics and the corresponding p value, right? What is the p value of this statistics? P value is forty six point one five percent, right? And it is more than five percent. It is more than five percent. We cannot reject. We cannot reject null hypothesis, meaning that residuals, residuals are normally distributed. So we are happy about this model because residuals are normally distributed.